Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming uh, my everyday makeup tutorial, and it's for this look. Pretty simple. My friend requested this. Um, her name is Alessandra, and yeah, she just wanted to know how I did my makeup, so I made this video. Um, if you want to know how to do this, um, keep watching, and stay tuned. Okay, so I already applied moisturizer to my face, and um, I already primed my eyes too, so now we're just going to go in with um, the Naked 2 palette with the color Verve. Can you see it? I don't know. Anyways, it's just like a shimmery um, champagne color, so we're going to go in with that in the inner, um, inner thirds of our eyes. After you've applied your um, champagne color, um, you're going to go in with a dark brown. This one's also from the Naked 2 palette. It's called Snake Bite. Can you see it? I don't know. Yeah, that one. So, um, any, any like dark brown color will do, really. I'm just using it because they're all in the same palette. So you're going to put that on the other half of your of your um, eyelid, the one you didn't put that champagne color on. So, oh, sorry. I have a mirror down here, by the way, so that's why I keep looking down. Um, so yeah, you don't want to go like past the crease with this color because we're going to be blending it out later with the transition color. So it looks all nice and smoky. You want to wipe off that brush. I'm just going to use a different one. The same one I used for the champagne color. And you're going to want to blend both, like that that line um, that you just created when you put both the colors. You're going to want to blend that line off. So, so it like transitions nicely. Now that you've done that, you're going to take teas. Also from the Naked 2 palette. <gasps> One just fell out. <laughs> Whatever. You're gonna take teas. You're gonna take teas from the Naked palette. And you're gonna use that as a transition color. brand. I love this eyeliner. It's kind of running out though. So. Um, I usually do a winged liner. Like for every day. I don't know why I just do. So. Uh, let's see. I start. I start in the middle and create a thin line. Oh, that doesn't look so thin. And then I go in slowly, small strokes. And I make sure I rest my hand on my cheek so like it's more steady. <sighs> so yeah. I got one line. And I do both lines. Like I line um, the upper, what is that even called? I don't know. I do my top line, the, um, both of them first. And then I do the wing after. Once I've completed both the lines. It just makes it easier to make the uh, wings even, so, yeah. Now that I've got both lines done, I'm gonna go ahead and create the wings. So, I don't really have, like,
like a technique i just do well first i do the eye that like um that i'm not so good at so then with the eye that i'm better at i can like it makes it easier to perfect this never mind throw it away make a little line um yeah just make a line and then i connect it to the rest of the line so like You see that? I don't know how I do it. Years of practice, I guess. So I got that one. Now it's time for this one. Then I like kind of look at um, both my eyes in the mirror and see like where I can create the other line like to make it even so let's see it would be about hold on oh there's a little fuzz there okay now I think it'd be right here I believe so. No, that's too high. So just make it a little lower. I don't know, they're probably not gonna end up looking even today. But oh well. Just create that. More eyeliner. I'm running out. I like 12 bucks though. I remember they used to be 10. Now they're 12, I'm like, what? There you go. So I'm done with the eyeliner. Now I'm gonna do my brows. Um, and for that, I use the same... Where is it? What the heck? Are you kidding me? No! I'll be back. Okay. So for my eyebrows, I use this little, um... This little elf brush that I got with the gel liner. I threw away the gel liner, I just like the brush. And then I go in with the same transition color we used in our crease. Um, Tease. I'm gonna get two palette. That one. So, I use that to fill in my brows. So, I don't know, there's no... I just fill them in, I guess. It's the natural shape. Now for mascara, um, I'm, I'm using this like sample of the Benefits They're Real. I love this mascara. I think you need to like let it dry out a bit though, so it's not as like clumpy or whatever. I don't know, my preference. Anyways, just going in. So I'm almost done, all I'm gonna do is um, apply powder. I use two kinds of powders. I have the Revlon Color Stay in, what is it, what color is it? Light Pale. And then I use the L'Oreal True Match, which I hit pan on, like hardcore pan. Need to go buy a new one. Anyways, so I use this one. This one's like lighter way lighter i use this one under my eyes to like brighten brighten them up and then i go in with the uh, true match powder on the rest of my face because it's like my skin color so yeah i am done um, this is the final look, if you guys can see. I don't know. I need a new camera. I'm using my phone right now. Okay, well, whatever. 
um thank you for watching i hope you guys liked it and if you did please thumbs up and subscribe i will be posting new videos coming soon um so yeah thank you for watching bye